We've seen in the previous video how to set up basic texture relevance. That's a great start, but it is only part of what makes a compelling search experience. When multiple records have the exact same textual relevance for a given query, the engine will rely on the custom ranking to break ties and to promote the most relevant results based on their business value. The custom ranking setting will accept any type of numerical or Boolean value that represents the relative business relevance of your records. The attribute type can be a raw value like the number of sales, views, or likes. Here, getting back to our example dataset, endorsement is an integer and is featured is a Boolean. The field can also be a computed value such as a popularity score that you would have calculated before adding the record to Algolia. One thing to pay attention to, you need to make sure that the numeric attributes used in the custom ranking are not formatted as strings, as this would cause the objects to be ranked alphabetically. Now let's see how to configure the engine to take those attributes as custom ranking. Let's check the current index settings with the getSettings method. We can confirm that nothing is configured for the custom ranking. Now we will perform an empty query on our index to see the default results order. We have three hits returned. The first one is John, the second is Benny, and the last is Dory. To communicate your business metrics to the engine, we need to set them in the setting called Custom Ranking. Since they are numeric values, depending on the value meaning, you may want those to be sorted by ascending or descending order. To add them to this setting, you specify ASC or DESC, then the attribute name between parentheses. Here's how it looks like to add the endorsement attribute in descending order. Now we save and run the script to send the new configuration to our index. Let's perform the same empty query and compare the order of our three results. As it is an empty query, we get all results since no textual matching is involved. They are then sorted by the custom ranking we've set, endorsement in descending order. This gives us Benny in first position with an endorsement score of 9, then we have Dory with 3, and finally John with 2. Now let's search for John. We still have 3 hits returned, since they all contain John. The first one is the match with John in the name, as expected from the searchable attribute ranking setting we've configured in the previous video. We then have two matches of John in the company attribute. This searchable attribute being set as unordered, the two records Benny and Dory are equal on a purely textual relevance standpoint. The tie is then broken by the custom ranking. Of those two records, Benny comes first since it has an endorsement value of 9, where Dory only has 3. Let's do another query, searching for Dawson this time. We have two hits returned, matching in the name, Benny Dawson and John Dawson. They have both the same textual relevance for our query. Benny comes first with an endorsement value of 9, and John comes after with a value of 2. A powerful feature of custom ranking is its ability to add multiple business attributes to build a really tailored ranking. Those attributes will be applied one after the others as long as there are ties between records. Let's add the is featured attribute above the endorsement, like so.
same as previously, an empty query, we get all the results, no textual matching involved, and results order is only produced by the custom ranking. John comes first, as it's the only record with the isFeatured value set to true, and we have configured isFeatured to be the first and most important custom ranking attribute. So it comes first, even though it has the lowest endorsement value of all. The two following records are equal on the isFeatured value, both set to false. Their order is then set by the second custom ranking we've configured, the endorsement value. Benny will be first of the two, second of the whole set, with a value of 9, and Dory will be last, with a value of 3. This is how the full custom ranking setting looks like for this example. In this video, we've covered why adding business metrics and setting them as custom ranking was crucial. We've also seen what types of data can be used and how to set it up within Algolia. Searchable attributes for textual relevance and custom ranking for business relevance are the two most critical settings you absolutely need to configure in order to provide a great search experience. Thanks for watching.